guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be testing out a different type of product. This is a freckle pen. This is the freckle pen from ColourPop. You get one milliliter of products. This is in the color Soft Brown. ColourPop is out of California and this particular product is made in Germany. And as you can see, it is basically just kind of like an eyeliner pen. This thing retails for eight US dollars off of ColourPop's website. Right now it is on sale for six dollars, so it is a very affordable product. To use, they have a couple tips. They say to apply it to bare skin or over makeup, to gently tap with your finger to blend into the skin, to build up the color in layers for a bolder look, and to mix soft brown and dark brown for a natural dimensional look. The product actually comes in two different colors. It comes in a dark brown and the soft brown, and it's just based off of your complexion, of course. They say dark browns for medium to deep and soft browns for fair to medium, but they also do, like they say, recommend you pick them both up so you can do a little mix and matching. They do claim that this is a super long wearing formula with a buildable, customizable color and the softest felt tip applicator. So uh, there's also a lot of controversy about these type of freckle pens in beauty communities in general because a lot of people who have freckles get bullied or made fun of for having freckles. So a lot of them are like, why is this a beauty standard now? Why are you taking my freckles and like making them look beautiful when like I've been bullied a lot for having them? Um, I was definitely one of those jerks growing up who didn't have freckles but loved the look of freckles. Maybe because I read too much Anne of Green Gables and I wished I was really tall, had red hair and beautiful freckles. But yeah, if you have freckles, I was definitely one of those jealous people growing up through all my school years who was like, damn, I wish I had freckles. So let's move on to application now. Funny story, I just sat down and recorded myself putting on freckles with this freck pen. As you can see, they're already on my skin. I don't know if you could tell from the far camera, but the close-up camera, it looks pretty obvious. And yeah, I wasn't recording, so I was like, damn it, I did, I did a full face of foundation. Uh, we powdered everything, and then I put on the freck pen. I powdered over the freck pen to like give it the longest lasting longevity possible. But I wasn't recording. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move up to my forehead and I'm going to put a little bit of freckles on my forehead just so you can see exactly how it was that I put them on my cheeks and nose. On ColourPop's website, they actually show an example just like across the cheeks and nose and an example like with the freckles going up onto your forehead. I think they're definitely both beautiful looks, but I think bringing them up around your face is definitely uh, a little bit more intimidating for someone who's maybe not the best of makeup. Um, and I think that's one of the limitations to this pen in general is you're gonna have to be really confident and know what you want to do with those freckles because like your face is going to be a blank canvas, right? So you're going to have to know what's too much, what's not enough, make that symmetry, make it not symmetrical, like build the color up just right. So I think that's like the biggest limitation to this pen. And because it is a pen, like every stamp you put on your skin, obviously, is going to be an individual freckle. There are other products out there. I'm um, thinking especially of Freck which is a liquid that you like dot around your face and then it puts a quite a bit of pigment on from what I can tell. So you like pick it up and you keep stamping around from that one stamp just with your finger. Quite a different application technique than using a pen. Um, I really want to try Vrag, but it's pretty hard to find in Canada. So I'll keep my eyes open for it, but it always seems like the shipping is like super expensive, which is kind of a turn off. So anyway, back to the ColourPop pen. Let's keep building up a few freckles just on my forehead. Uh, I just want to show you something too as well. This mark right here is actually a mole on my skin that's just like completely natural. And right here is one that I've drawn on. 
so I think overall this soft brown color really matches the natural like soft brown marks that I already have on my skin I feel like the undertone and everything really works nicely at least for my complexion so let's move on and put a couple more on my forehead and you can see I have some very light um, moles or like red marks or stuff. I don't know what they are, just like marks on my skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to like darken those up so they look more like freckles too. It's kind of like that. It's really easy to do. Just kind of stamping it around, patting it in with my finger. You can see you get a nice range of different shapes just by how slowly and how much pressure you use with the pen. And I definitely don't want too many freckles on my face because again that confidence of putting them on is just not really there for me. Um, but I think I will build up this mole a little bit as well. Just like a little beauty mark that I have. And I also have like the very faintest like Marilyn Monroe type beauty mark. Just on my cheeks, so I'm just gonna like emphasize that a little bit too. That one I think should be a good test to see like how well the longevity is. So that is all the freckles I will be adding today, for real. I'm just gonna set them with some of this Nude for Nature setting powder. It's just a translucent powder. It's gonna be interesting when I look when I'm recording it I just have a tiny viewfinder so like I can't see the freckles at all in the close-up camera though they are pretty obvious I think this cheek is like the favorite of all the places that I added fake freckles so we will really have to see I'm going to hop over to natural light and kind of give you another close-up look in daylight and then I'm gonna wear test these for the next 12 hours. So I will be back at the end of the night to check in. Let's go. Let's take a close-up look at whatever freckles remain, and honestly, I mean, you can see a bit on my forehead. My cheeks, however, and even my nose, like there's one clearly there, but they have definitely faded. This cheek is particularly bad. I kind of thought the ones on my cheek would fade because I am pretty oily. You can see my eyeshadow has melted into like an oily mess by now. Um, I don't know why, I just felt like I kind of had a greasy day today even though I wasn't doing anything super crazy. It's super cold here where I live. But the freckles have definitely disappeared. Although, and even the ones on my forehead which I thought would be like the safest place for a freckle to be definitely have really faded some of them are still visible but they're barely hanging on basically so overall i thought the freckle pen was pretty fun to do i definitely think it's more of a short term maybe photo shoot instagram social media type of moment and not a full 12 hour feature <laughs> to a makeup look uh, maybe if you have drier skin and are less prone to getting oily, this would last a little bit better on you. But in my experience, it's not going to last a full 12 hours. In fact, even at that halfway point check-in, I still felt like it had faded drastically just in that first four hours. So there you go. There's a look at the ColourPop Freckle Pen. Overall, I'm going to give it a 2.5 out of 5. Did the trick. It was easy to use. Uh, like I said, the real big weakness there is your ability to draw freckles. I don't know if I'm the best at that. I guess it probably takes practice. The pen did make it easy to do. The color was perfection. However, the longevity was not there, but the price was definitely right. But I kind of feel like just using a brown eyeliner and just like tapping it in 
or the old pencil trick probably would compete with the lasting wear of this dedicated pen. So I feel like if you don't have this, you're definitely not like missing out on anything. Maybe the darker color would have given me different or better results too, hard to say. But um, yeah, that's the soft brown one. So would I repurchase it? I don't think so. Would I recommend it? Probably not. <laughs> Anyway guys, let me know what you do for your fake freckle tricks. Are, do you have freckles naturally? What do you think about your freckles? We definitely want to know. Any other questions, comments, concerns, let me know down in the comments down below. If you'd like to see more from me, you can hit the subscribe button. You can support me both on YouTube and on Patreon. And a huge shout out to my patrons who help make these videos possible. Huge shout out to you for watching. And with that, I will see you all in my next beauty video. Bye.